Saw her race in the double early. She won't be in this race today. Today we have China, Australia, New Zealand, Netherlands, Spain and Great Britain. Over on the far side, it is the 23-year-old Chinese Liu Xiu. In the quadruple skull this year, back now in the single skull. There's the Aussie, saw her on the bus on the way down, Tara Rigney from Sydney University Boat Club. 35-year-old Olympic Emma champion, Twig. Emma Twig. Well, she's up against it today, facing the unbeaten Stella from the Netherlands, Claroline Fraulein, 24 years of age, the Dutch Scala. Lane five, for lane Spain, five Virginia out of the women's pairs, Virginia Diaz Rivas. Placed six in the Olympics in the women's pair, but here in the single, in the A final, and Hannah an amazing Scott. skull in the semi final saw Hannah Scott, just 23 years of age get into the A final. What a result for her. If she can get anything out of this race, that will be a bonus. I'm sure she'll take it on early doors, the British Scala. Certainly that's what happened China. in the semi-final. But, yeah, Emma Twig, 35. Yes. Caroline Florine, 24. She looks Spain. young. But she has delivered such a great season so far. Will she be able to finish it with a gold medal? So now is the time as all the scholars seem to squeeze that first stroke away cleanly and well. Great to get out into the race. All scholars in this beautiful flat water getting away almost perfectly together. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a frantic start there from Florine from the Netherlands, but. Emma Twig from New Zealand looking cool and confident as she blasts out of the blocks. Twiggy's had some great matchups as we look at Tara Rigney there, 23 year old. She's had some great matchups. You think of her series of races with Kim Brennan. Do you think she's going to be phased at all that she's racing Caroline Florin with the kind of record that Florine has had in Europe this year? I don't know that much phases Twiggy these days. <laughs> she's, a, she's a pretty cool customer with such an incredible record behind her. Predominantly in the single skull, of course, Olympic champion, absolutely capping off uh, a stellar career to date last year in Tokyo. And I think on a personal front, welcoming her son uh, into her life as well. I mean, what a, what a year and a bit she's had. Well, she looked pretty calm and cool on the start. She looks relaxed in her face, relaxed in her sculling. She's currently lying in third place. We have a look here. Virginia Diaz Rivas, the Spanish, having such a good championships. Here she is. She's the lowest rating on the course, 33 strokes a minute, well into her rhythm, really nice and connected up. But it's not keeping her with the pace. The pace, and I'm impressed with the Australian scholar Tara Rigney up there in lane number two. As we see the British here, Hannah Scott over in lane six. She had a fantastic row in the semi-final to make it through into this final today. But as you say, Greg, the Australian, Tara Rigney getting better and better with every outing. She was seventh in the women's double skull at the Tokyo Olympics last year, coming into the single medalling at both of the World Cups she competed at this year so far, and now sitting in second place, coming through that first 500 metre marker with Emma Twig of New Zealand in third. But this incredible woman from New Zealand, uh, from the Netherlands, sorry, Caroline Florian, leading through that first 500 metre marker. Is she you there back in fourth place, just ahead of the British scholar Hannah Scott? Tara Rigney just handing it to Emma Twig at the moment. Caroline Florein, famous mum, famous dad. Florein, a dad, two Olympic gold medals, and the mum, anti rehag, world champion back in 1994. Tara Rigney, Emma Twig, Greg. Well, I was going to say, Caroline Florian's been writing her own history this year. Oh, great And line. here she is leading this World Championships as she's been leading throughout the year. This has been her year. But usually she's been away, able to scull away from people, keep going faster. I wonder what the wily Emma Twig is doing right now, making a little move, making it difficult so she's not getting it all her own way. Florine, silver medalist in the women's four for the Netherlands at the Tokyo Olympics last year undefeated so far this season 
with her two or three gold medals at World Cup 1, 2 and then the European Championships. But of course not at the European Championships where these two women, Tara Rigney here from Sydney University Boat Club in Australia and Emma Twig just off to her right hand side from New Zealand. That's a great shout, Sarah. The, at those European Championships, when we could see Caroline Florin sculling away from the field, it would have been looking to her left. Today, she's got to look to her right. These non-European competitors who are putting the pressure on her. How's it going to go down in this third 500? Hannah Scott in fifth place and Diaz Rivas in sixth place. What is the race going to give us between Caroline Florin? This is the hardest she's been pushed this season. Emma Twig to her right just half a length behind maybe two-thirds of a length behind Tara Rigney uh, there's Emma Twig's bow Sarah yeah and is this field starting to compress we can see the Chinese sculler and the New Zealand sculler are the fastest moving on course in fact all of these boats I think starting to compress in this third 500 of the race the Australian the 24-year-old Tara Rigney 23-year-old Tara Rigney Ellen Randell her coach based at the National Training Centre in Penrith. But these four boats, I think, coming closer together as we progress through this third quarter. Well, I think it was an interesting little moment there. As we have a look at Hannah Scott, she's wondering whether she's going to be able to pick off someone who might blow up, someone who might go too early. But I thought there was a little bit of response there from Florine that she almost let Emma yeah. Twig do a push at 1,000, then she's pushed off that. I think that's absolutely spot on, Greg. I was going to say, if Florine wins from this position with the pressure she's been put under, that will be sensational because... Twiggy is really handing it to her. The Netherlands sculler from the Nearhouse Club. Lovely lady. And uh, she's just edging out on Ember Twig there. Will she get that clear water lead? It's what she's had all season. 35 year old from the Hawks Bay Club. Digging in there. Look across just to see where Florine is. And it looks like the Australian sculler, Tara Rigney starting to be challenged now. A push coming from the Chinese sculler in lane one, Xiu Lu, who is at 33 strokes per minute, so the lowest rating boat in this leading pack, but she is starting to make her way into medal contention. Yeah, again, really interesting to see where that bronze medal is going to go. I think the gold medal is going to be a shake-up here between Emma Twig, who takes a look over her shoulder. Will she be able to find something to close the gap on Caroline Florine? Will Tara Rigney be able to hold on after that early pace that she set? Florine's going to get clear water, you know, in this, in this race. I'm sure she's going to push out. She looks cool, calm, and collected. Look at her legs there, really on the boat. Just that gentle squeeze down. She's almost got clear water on Twig now. As you say, really on the boat. She moves so well with the pace of the boat. She collects it. But how about this Tara Rigney hanging in there for that silver medal? The Chinese sculler beside her, still rating 33. Will she be able to come on and take on that, that all-important third place and bronze medal? Yeah, the Chinese sculler Lu Shi Yu, been in the quad all year, seen the quad get a gold medal. She wants her own piece of the action as we see Caroline flying out in front. Emma Twig seemingly unable to mount a charge that is going to halt the Dutch woman's progress. Just clear water for the Dutch woman. It's going to take a lot for Emma Twig, a fantastic sprint. Tara Rigney. The woman who was a netball player ruptured her cruciate ligaments and came into rowing. She's in the bronze medal position. Tara Rigney in the bronze medal position. She's stepping her rate up, trying to cover the charge of the Chinese, but the Chinese sculler pops up from 33 to 37 strokes per minute, 38 strokes per minute. Does Tara Rigney have a response to hold on to that bronze medal? But this leading sculler has been sensational all the way down the track. It is Caroline Florine in gold medal position coming past our commentary box. It is Lucy Yu just getting past Tara Rigney for the bronze medal. Emma Twig, the Olympic champion, in silver medal position. A marvellous win for the Netherlands. Caroline Florine takes the gold medal. It is silver for Emma Twig. And Rigney holds off Lucy Yu. A sensational last 10 strokes from the Australian Sydney University Boat Club. Scala and she got that bronze medal. Yeah, I think the Chinese Scala caught a little bit of water just which halted her progression. She was tracking right there with Tara Rigney and that just gave the Australian the capability to hold on to that bronze. But what a row from this young Dutch Scala. Yeah, great row from the young Dutch Scala over Emma Twig. Emma Twig came, she took it to her, she really challenged for that gold medal position in Tara Rigney. Wow, she went out with the pace. 
And yeah, thumbs up to you. She held on brilliantly. And yeah, Lucia Yu was coming, but uh, her technique held up. And uh, yeah, bronze medal to take back to Australia. Well, that race lived up to its billing. And that push that Florine made was absolutely key in that race, wasn't it? Twig was moving back on her. Yeah, just through the thousand, wasn't it? We sort of thought that was the moment when Emma Twig put pressure on Caroline Florine, but she was able to sort of just feel that pressure, let it come, and then she moved away. And it's so key to be able to do that in a single skull to, to read the race, read the right moments to make the move. And she did that brilliantly. And then she could just focus in on her own boat and bring it home. Make it sound easy, really, don't we? But it's not. Yeah, and that's that victory salute we've seen all season. So there you see it. Caroline Florian of the Netherlands. Gold medal in the women's single ahead of Emma Twig and Tara Rigney of New Zealand and Australia. <laughs>